Casey Sparks. We're in Fremont, Michigan. Uh, I'm the owner and manager here at Sparks Quaker Acres, along with my brother and my father and my nephew. So we have two Lely Calms, and we recently, in the past 18 months, put in five Lely A5s. The main reason why we chose Lely was, uh, especially with the automatic milking, was they were the pioneer. They've been doing it the longest, so I, I figured they've had it figured out before everybody else. They came to us and kind of said, hey, we want to go automation, we want to go with Lely. High Tech, our Lely Center, uh, they walked me through how to operate the machines, how to change animal ID numbers, how to clean. Basically walked through the complete operation of the machines and allowed for a smooth transition into the automatic feeding. So the, the Lely Calm is basically an automatic calf feeder. There is a, a stall with a nipple that that calf can walk up at any point in the day and if, it, if she is due to be fed, that calf feeder will dispense powdered milk or pasteurized milk from a tank and feed that calf, allowing her to drink when she wants. The Lely Calm benefits the calf as well as the farmer, it gives them the flexibility, as well as it, it lets the calf be the calf. You're putting the calf back in more of its natural element and letting it nurse from the calm like it would from its mother. I had no data before when in our old system, which was just hutches. Whoever fed would have to lay sick calves to me. Uh, a lot of times that didn't happen. I didn't get the information. Here it's there, and I can look any time of day and look back and see what the calf's been doing. So on the data from the system, I can look and see how much it drank today, yesterday, or any other day since it's been in the machine, how fast it drank that day, liters per minute, and then a rolling percentage of the change in that day. So now the machines will send the data to the computer in the parlor, and then I can look at the complete history of that calf going back since it's been on the machine. Usually we can see drinking speed start to decrease a day or two before intake's going to, and that's a very good indication of, hey, something's going on with this calf. We can temp it early on. The data that we're getting from these robots just allows us to be that much more ahead of the game. I think the calm is very easy to run. It's. Uh... I, I, if you can operate a cell phone, I think you can figure out the calm. We have a, a handheld or a handout guide um, that goes through step by step how to enter new calves, how to edit a feed plan, how to make a, a different time of a wash, and then as well as recommended daily maintenances. So uh, the farm is, is, in my opinion, well prepared from day one. Ultimately, we're here for the success of their farm. I've seen a better result than individual housing when we had them in hutches before. They seem to be a little more socially active. Uh, they eat more, but they also have more feet available given that they can come up anytime they want. I feel they're in better health now than they were in individual hutches. The main reason we did it was labor savings. Uh, we didn't have the labor to keep up with outside hutches and uh, we needed to do something different. We've been very pleased uh, with the animals coming out. The calves appear growthier. And I think we've seen an increase in our first lactation milking production, partly in due because of the calms. The Lely lines really fit into our farm's future goals by increasing efficiency and basically giving us more control and more data and information than what we have before. Casey from day one has just been open-minded, has accepted automation on his farm, and has known that it is the way of Sparks Quaker Acres um, in the future of their dairy industry.